Whoa. What the hell? Whoa! I don't know what happened, but I love it. This is amazing. I'm gonna- I'm gonna keep this. We're gonna go with this. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome to Will You Press the Button? Now, I'm sure you've all played the game Would You Rather in some way at home. I'm afraid to move my head or I'm gonna lose the amazing thing that happened in my hair. But this one's different! Let me tell you why! Because there's always a catch to everything that- if you press this- God damn it. If you press the button, your wildest dreams will come true. But there's always a catch on the thing that it suggests, like this one! You will be able to access the internet with your mind! Cool, right? But your innermost thoughts will automatically be posted on your favorite social media site. Now, see, you can figure out how that'd be particularly devastating for me. Because I sure wouldn't want to put anything embarrassing on my social media sites. Not that I do that already, and not that my innermost thoughts are horrible. They're sunshine and rainbows inside my brain. I'm gonna fix this, Jesus. The pink is l Whoa, my god. The pink is- the pink has a mind of its own. Alright, okay, now that we got the world's worst beginning to a let's play out of the way, let's see what I'll do! See, I- like I said, it's not like I'm Hitler inside my brain, it, it's- I just- I have some things that I want to keep private! I'm not Hitler, but- okay, I'm not- I w I will not! I will not! Good! That was a good dilemma! Is this fun yet? Is this a great let's play? I'm so happy to be able to do- Okay, here we go! Half-Life 3 comes out, but you can't play it and can only watch little kids play it without editing! Oh god! It's like the- it's like my let's plays! They're horrible and they're not edited anyway. Oh no! Oh, okay. All right. So I have to do what you guys do, which is suffer through my stupidity when I play a game. Oh, wow. I- oh, god. Ah. Uh, does that mean that Half-Life 3 will never come out? Because I don't want that either. I will not! Ah! Uh, oh, good. People agreed with me. Oh, man. That was a good one. Jeez. Complete immortality. Nothing in the universe can kill you, but no one else will ever be immortal. Now, you see, this is why I like this particular version, because it gets thought-provoking questions. Not stupidity like what we've seen, but this has always been, like, my philosophy, because immortality, like, nothing can kill you. Can you imagine that? Like, billions and trillions of years down the road, you're still just floating in blackness, probably suffering in pain from the cold vacuum of space, or you've been sucked inside to the center of a sun! How horrible would that be? No! No, I will not. I, I, I don't want to live forever like that. Jeez. Wow. People didn't agree with me? Whoa! Really? You would want to see everyone you know and love die? That's so horrible! That was a good dilemma. That was a good dilemma. You would be a being with demon powers, fighting for good and protecting the people, like all of my favorite animus! But the more you fight, the more, the more demonic you become, until you abandon reasoning and only death will free you. Wow, that sounds like an exciting life. I mean, my god, isn't that the plot of Batman? You live long enough, you, you, you live long, you die, oh shit. You live long enough to see yourself become the hero, or you die. No, that's the god damn it. What? You live long enough. Fuck, I'll press it. Do it. Ah, people are disagreeing with me. That's baloney. So what if you become a demonic demon? Then at least you did good while you were not, and then you give someone else purpose to defeat you. Good dilemma. Good, good, good dilemma. Oh god. Wait. Oh no, wait, this went- this went bigger than I thought it'd be. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, hang on. You're permanently in a relationship with the crush of your dreams, and you two never fall for other people. But... You have to be haunted by the grudge for ten years. She will follow you everywhere and can't leave until a decade has passed. Well, uh, I mean, okay, on the one hand, what if your per- what if my crush is the grudge lady? Like, is- wait, is the grudge the grudge lady or is the grudge- no, that's the ring. The grudge is a kid. Never mind! We're putting that aside! That's totally- no, 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 okay. All right, then. What? I'm just- whew. See, it says you're permanently in a relationship with the crush of your dreams, but it doesn't say you have a happy relationship. You're just stuck together. What if you're unhappy? I mean, you could just have a crush on someone and they could be totally not the right fit for you. And you have the grudge haunting you. That's horrible. No! Unless people think like the crush of their dreams is like some celebrity. I will not. No, I have bad enough. Really? It was that split? I guess people think that just 
punching a grudge in the face would just... It says the grudge is a she. Okay, what if that was it? But then, oh, it's a paradox! Because if my crush is the grudge and she will follow me for 10 years, but then she'll leave in 10 years, then she was never gonna be permanently in a relationship with me. It's a I, I'm too lazy to add an explosion there, so I'm You can watch any TV show, film, listen to any song whenever you want on any device, but the volume will always be really quiet and you can't have subtitles. No! <laughs> That'd be so bad. I mean, what do you? I mean, you can do that. Oh, branding. You can do that already. It, it exists. This this is irrelevant. It's already a thing. I can watch it at whatever volume I choose. And I choose to blast my porn at full volume for all the neighborhood to hear. I will not. Good. You will never go to work again, and every week you will be paid for 40 hours worth of work at minimum wage. But. You cannot receive any other forms of income or donation. Well, that just, that, I would go out of my goddamn mind. If I didn't have to work, I would be, and, and at minimum wage, that's horrible. Like, that's below the poverty line. That's why an issue is raising the minimum wage. But uh, that's getting into a whole, no co you comments? YouTube, God damn it, comments. Comments, come back here. Stop it. STOP IT NOW! They're gone. The comments are gone. Sorry. Uh, it's a horrible discussion about politics and, and money. I will- no. There's no way. How- how did 40% of the people- How did 40% of people press that? How would you live? How would you live? Ooh. I think my voice just auto-tuned itself. <laughs> You receive $500,000 every year for life, but once a year at random, you are kidnapped for a week. Oh! Oh! Uh, how bad is this kidnapping? Is it like a Stockholm Syndrome situation? Is it the same person kidnapping me every year? Is it going to be horrible? Is, could, could it be fun? Could someone kidnap me away for a fun funcation in Disney World Land? I always wanted to go to Disney Woodland. It's in Woodlando, Florida. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see how this goes. Yeah, see? What what's so bad about being kidnapped? What what could happen there? Get $20 every time you inhale, but every year on your birthday you have to eat a bucket of would you inhale them? Would you, do you inhale air and then exhale dollars? Is that a horrible affliction that you have to suffer through like every single breath? <laughs> is it all in ones? Is it like a is it like a money shotgun every time you breathe out and you just pow! If you go to a strip club and you just start breathing heavy on everyone. I'm not going to finish that thought. Uh, I I'm okay actually. I'm I'm okay. I I'm okay. I'm okay. No, I, uh, I've seen a video of a guy eat a live spider and it's horrifying. End all of the world's problems. Famine, torture, poverty, disease, etc. It's etc, not etc. But you alone suffer all of them without death for all eternity. Ooh, now that's interesting. Would I be willing to suffer through every problem that humanity has to offer for all eternity? I don't think any person alive or has ever been alive would be able to tolerate that kind of torture. But because this is a hypothetical scenario, it would be really cool if that's how, you know, that was my legacy. Like my legacy was I bore all of the world's problems on my shoulders forever. Famine, torture, poverty, and disease and hunger, I, I guess is also in there. Oh, that's famine. I, <laughs> I, it's like, would you become numb to it? Do you have every disease at one, every STD possible and every other disease possible? Like, some of those? I, I'll press it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll be the hero that, that wow, only 36 people press the button. Be braver! Be braver! You rule the world and have magic and can now do anything you want that is possible, realistic or not. But you no longer are able to use the internet of the TV. And even though you have all that power, you're not powerful enough to change this rule! Okay, alright then. I'm down with that. 
that's amazing. You can rule the world and have magic? Anything I want to do is possible? I can live without the- All the internet is is a series of tubes. It's not a big truck that you just dump all of your stuff onto. It's a series of tubes. Hell yeah, I'm gonna press that button. I can come up with more fun things to do with my magic. Yeah! Whoa! Oh! Everyone in Detroit dies! But I get cake! I mean, what's the downside? This is where this is where the deep dark secrets of my mind get revealed and the horror that remember how I didn't want my innermost thoughts. It was always just like, boy, I hope Detroit just blows up one day. And I really want cake. <laughs> I'm not Hitler. <laughs> That's really what goes in my mind all the time. That's really what happens. It's the only thing happening in my brain all the time. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's such a dilemma. Oh God, no. I really want to see how many people press the button. I bet a lot. Really? Ah, now I look like an asshole. But it's probably really good cake. I'm sorry to all my fans in Detroit. Please join everyone still talking about politics in the comments below to tell me how bad I am. So, anyway, that's- Oh man, you have a perfect life, but you can't share it with anyone. So I'll leave that one up to you. Which one would you- or, uh, would, Will you press the button? Let me know down in the comments below if you would. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. I actually love doing this because it's interesting thought experiments. And- it's pretty fun too, so let me know if you want to see more down in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video as well. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs> 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 And what did you end up with? Uh, I like, what did I even say? <laughs> play, it, play it back for me. I know, right? Poop on me.